Alright guys, this is Nick Saber with Pranny here with ThinkComputers.org and I'm actually going to demo the Rocat driver software that's meant for the Ixu illuminated gaming keyboard. So let me open this program up for you here. One of the neat aspects I, I thought when I saw uh, the Rocat software for this keyboard was it's actually called driver version 1.15. Um, I don't think you could be any more original when it comes to the name of a program utilized to control an input device. <laughs> um, but actually the software itself is broken down into five main menus here. Uh, main control, easy zone control, media keys slash F keys, advanced control, and then this last button is just actually uh, an update and support button. Uh, but back to the main control, this is where the majority of the functionality of the keyboard comes from in regards to the macro keys. Uh, one of the very interesting things about this keyboard that I wanted to show you guys was there are five physical profiles that can be saved onto the keyboard itself and there is a, a with an illuminated indicator light there's also an audible indication whenever you switch profiles and if you look here you can actually see what key on the keyboard is assigned to switching the profiles. You can pretty much make this any key that you want, but for um, time, we'll just use the keys that are already preset. So let me see if I can switch this for you guys. Profile 2. Profile 3. Profile 4. Profile 5. And I, whenever I first heard that, I thought that was actually really nice that you could be, you know, switching between applications or in a different game that has different profiles set up for different things, and it will let you know what profile you're actually in. And I imagine after you, you've used the keyboard for a while and the software for a while, you would remember, say, profile 1 was set as a Windows default, which you can actually do right here, that whenever you're just on your Windows desktop profile one is automatically going to take over or you know you could set your Windows 5 I mean your uh, profile slot 5 to be counter-strike global offensive something like that um, another function on this main screen here actually has to do with uh, probably one of the primary assets of this keyboard and it's called the easy shift function and what it does is it's essentially um, just the caps lock key but whenever you press the caps lock key in conjunction with uh, the macro keys uh, associated on the left side of your keyboard and the thumbster keys associated in the wrist rest of your keyboard you can basically make those keys which could be assigned to do one specific thing do something completely different just by pressing uh, the caps lock key. Think of it as um, a shift key for uh, a macro button uh, the, the the easy shift function also has something to do with the cone plus mouse which I'll get to in my next review um, but obviously you can see here that I can't enable it because I don't actually have the cone plus mouse uh, plugged in right now but on like I said on the next review I will show how the keyboard works in conjunction with the mouse um, next I want to show you the easy controls this was actually something that was really 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 neat but if you're underneath the easy easy zone controls and you drop down it actually has macro preset functions and if you look on this list there's pretty much every game that I think I currently play listed and each one of those games has you know specific macros that you can assign to any given button inside the easy zone and the easy zone is really where you're gonna keep your hand whenever you're gaming anyway um, they also have on applications different things uh, that typically you have media buttons that would be associated at the top of the keyboard that would control but something like Photoshop if you have uh, where you're doing a new layer or a specific thing in a layer where you want to uh, you know install like a drop shadow or something like that you can actually have uh, let me see here yeah group layers and all, all kind of different things that you can actually assign to a physical button on the keyboard that you know primarily wouldn't do anything um, the media set keys are you know your F keys and your typical media keys where you can assign them to do whatever you want select your standard player all that other wonderful stuff and under advanced control you can set illumination timeouts you can set repeat rate on keys if you hold them down illumination brightness levels all that other wonderful stuff um, all in all the Rocat Ixu driver software for the the Ixu illuminated gaming keyboard 
is probably the most in-depth, robust, aesthetically pleasing configuration software as I've seen in a really long time. Um, I'm really interested to see where Rocat can take this software into regards to some of the other products they sell, say the Cone Plus. I, I can't wait to see how it integrates into this driver software. Um, Rocat really put themselves on the map with this keyboard and this software and uh, I'm very much looking forward to reviewing products in the future for them. This is uh, Nick Saberwolf Prenny for Think Computers, signing off.